Someone's trying to sell you something, and they say one thing, one line, and you're completely just turned off. Mm -hmm. okay. So you know what? If they've done it to you, do you know what you've done? You've done it to other people. And what happens is this. When they say that, what they do is you're bumping up against your unconscious filters. I mean, none of you said, oh, well, they just said something, and they just bumped up against one of my unconscious filters and beliefs. <laughs> you don't say that, right? But you get that bad feeling. Okay, well, that's what happened. And that's why, again, I say it for the fourth time. You've got to know people's unconscious filters. When you know their filters, you know how to sell them and lead them, and they don't even know they're being led. This is important. This is big. Most of the decisions you make aren't based on conscious reasoning. Dr. Alex Peugeot, University of Rochester, Department of Brain and Cognitive Sciences. Consider what that means. Most of the decisions you make aren't based on conscious reasoning. You look stunned. What does this mean? Emotions. He's setting emotions by, but what does it really mean? You buy unconsciously. Thank you. It means people buy and they do not know why they buy. Just because. Just because. That's exactly. This is what human beings do. We buy and then we rationalize. Okay? For example, being a hypnotist many years ago, women would come to me to lose weight. And they would say, I eat because I'm lonely, I eat because I'm bored, I eat because I'm scared, I eat because I, I'm stressed out, I eat because of this, I eat because of that, I eat because Jay Leno's on TV. All these reasons they eat. Okay? Wrong. People eat because they eat. And then they rationalize the behavior. Does that make sense? So your prospects and clients buy they do not even know why they buy, and then they rationalize why they think that they bought. Research demonstrates up to 95% of all buying decisions are unconsciously made. Research, university, Harvard, Stanford, Yale, Columbia, up to 95% of all buying decisions are unconsciously made. As salespeople, what is, and by the way, you're all salespeople. As salespeople, what does that mean to you? <laughs> Partly. Gathering information. What it means is this. It means if you do not know how to persuade and influence, you're missing the boat. You are completely missing the boat if you do not know how to persuade and you do not now start thinking, how do I persuade, how do I influence this person below the surface of the water, the big part of the iceberg? That's called deep structure communication. What most people do is they only surface structure communication. Meaning the prospect says blah, 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 the person says blah, blah, blah back, the prospect blah, 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 blah back. What you want to now start thinking, and I'll show you how to do it in a bit, is you want to start thinking about what caused my prospect and my client to do what they did. See, that's their motivations. That, that's their unconscious motivations. So now start thinking, ask yourself this. When people do things, ask yourself this question. What caused them to do that. Now you're looking deep structure. What most people do is they mind read. Oh, they did that because of X, Y, Z. Mm -hmm. Well, that's, that own, that's their own model of reality that they're imposing back on the other person. So when people do things, I simply ask myself, you know, I really wonder what caused John to do that. And then I start looking for his motivations and start growing a profile on him. Because guess what? If he did it that way one time, <coughs> how, is he, how is he likely to do it again next time? The same way. Is this making sense to everyone? Yes. Yes, over here, making sense? Yes, question. Because I've always done it by change in pattern. If somebody moves faster a house all the time and then slows down, that's it, it's theirs. If they slowly go through every house and then